Hi right, guys, making a shoe. Uh, I'm doing it from my perspective today, using my GoPro uh, camera in my mouth mount. Um, first thing to do, mark the centre, this is the front shoe. Mark the centre on a bit of uh, triangular file. I'm just going to make one, just to keep the video a bit short. We get it in the fire, we're going to get the uh, whole thing hot right in the middle. Um, I suppose about I suppose about half of it, leaving quarter at each end. Just check the tools. Fairly okay. Doesn't take long to heat up. I think it's about ready. Just going to put the first turn in, what they call the first turn. It looks actually hotter than it is with this uh, with this camera. Just get a nice even turn. First bend. Make it the same both sides, as I say, because it's a front. Put your first toenail holes in. On either side of the centre mark. And pritch all the holes right through. That just knocks out the piece out the bottom. It should drop out, but they're stuck on there. Like all the blacksmithing and any other working of metals, keep it level. Don't go silly, but just keep it a little bit level. Now put your outside branch in to warm up. Always do the outside first, don't know why, it's just tradition I suppose. Start forming the heel. It's almost there in one go. Give it a tickle up. There you four outside nail holes, upright at the heel, leaning over more and more, putting in what you call pitch towards the toe. So they're upright at the heel, and slanted at the toe. Knock off the bits. Again, keeping it level. And then just run round it. That's where you punched it, they've swollen a little bit, so tidies it all up. Go through the holes again with your pritchel. Clean them all out. Level it off. You don't want any lumps on the back. If I was a bit quicker, I wouldn't need to do this bit, but uh, or a bit fitter, just warming the heel up because I've got to dress the heel. Again, it looks hotter than it actually is. This GoPro camera is. Uh, well, there you can see. Well, even this camera is making it look fairly warm. Cameras tend to pick on the hot spot. Nicely dressed, back in the fire to the inside branch. Got that one a bit hot, never mind. Close up the inside slightly, about the last third. Again, over the anvil. Almost done in one go, just tickle it about. And then traditionally, the inside has three holes. This is just an ordinary bit of 
three quarter three eight concave steel. And this isn't quite a traditional hunter front because I've got upright heels and the traditional hunter front has sloping heels, penciled heels. But this is the, the sort of shoe I would use as an everyday shoe. Keep it level, quickly heat that heel, and dress that one up, same as the other one. This is uh, using my old rasps. I get used three times, twice on the van, once for foot trimming, once for finishing off, then in here on the bench. And then they've had it. And then I make them into throws and all sorts of other tools. Now we're going to get ready to do the clip, toe clip on this one. This pointed hammer, which I've made out of a ball pane. Just drew the end out, the ball out into a point. And knock out a little knob. See there. Just draw that out. Level it off behind the clip. Knock it back into the shoe so it's flowing. Doesn't stick out. Just tidying it up, making sure it's not distorted. Try and get it pretty even. Just making a generalised shape. Now back pritch will just clean out the holes. Debris, make sure they're nice and well they're not actually square, they're oblong. They're the shape of the shank of a nail. If you were to cut the head off a nail, what you see is the shape of the tools that I'm using. The pritch stamp and the pritchel. They both should be that shape. And there you go. One front shoe. Nothing special, but thanks for watching.